Today we're gonna go over really quick one of the biggest mistakes we see with beginner kettlebells doing the kettlebell swing in the gym. Now, if you're an advanced kettlebell baddie, you probably will already know this one million percent but we're gonna go over it for the people that don't. A kettlebell swing is not, is going to be a squat into an overhead press. So a lot of times you'll see the bell plopping down like this, hanging down instead of the butt of the bell facing out. And that happens when we are squatting down so you can see the deep knee flexion and then doing an arm raise where we're lifting it up. So even if you're squeezing your glutes and your quads, you are still doing an arm raise and you are still squatting the bell down below your knees. With a kettlebell swing, you're gonna start from the floor every time. That's a whole different video though. And what we wanna see is a snap of the hips and then gravity taking the bell down. The difference is this bell is gonna be high in the crotch and it's my hips, not my arms, that are gonna swing and get the momentum of that bell coming up. We find the pendulum because I'm then just gonna let gravity bring that bell down. You can always test this out because if I were to let go of the bell, it would float in the air for a few seconds. And that, my friends, is one of the big differences between doing a squat, raise, and an actual powerful hip hinge kettlebell swing. Don't make that mistake. Don't let me see you doing it.